recorded, we have our new deck being created. Um, it's currently being called the deck. Okay, I'm going to put this at the top um, just because it is global. It's going to be used across everything. I'm also going to rename that to my deck as well. Okay, so in this video, uh, we are going to oops, fix that as well. My deck. Um, we're going to uh, create a little function which is going to uh, return a random card. Okay, so this is just going to allow our button function to work. So again, func random card. Okay, we're going to place the deck inside this. So we want to input our uh, our array of strings. And it's going to return a string. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to define a range. So the maximum range which we're going to use is going to be the deck count minus one. Now we could uh, compress this code a little bit, but this just spreads it out so you can understand what we're doing here. Uh, and then we're going to create a random number. So let random number equal int dot random. Okay, and this is where we use our range. So it's going to start from zero, which is the first index of our list. And then we're going to use our upper range that we just created. So I could just put this deck.count inside here and that would work perfectly fine, but I just sort of separated it out to uh, make it a little bit easier. And then finally, we need to return my deck and then we'll use our random number there. So it will find a random uh, piece to, to put inside here and return it. So then to use this uh, inside my button deal. I'll get my image card one dot image. So get the uh, image property of that object, uh, the image view. I'm going to set the UI image named. Okay. And because this random deck is going to return a string, uh, we can simply put random card. We'll call that we're going to put my deck inside there. So you can see why I changed the name to my deck now because otherwise it would be deck deck and it doesn't really make sense. So I renamed this to my deck if you missed that little step. Okay, so that's the first view done. Image card two dot image equals UI image named. Okay, and we'll do the same thing again my deck. So there is an issue with this at the moment, but we'll fix this up later on. Uh, but we could have two cards which are the same uh, because of the way that we're working uh, through our deck. So I'm going to run this now. Again, I'm running this on SE2. Okay, so when it first loads up, it is setting the background images as we said. And then when I press my button, I should see, oh, first off, we've got two cards the same. So we can see our random isn't very random, uh, but it should flick through each time I press and generate two new cards. 